Welcome back boys and girls. We're on lesson 23. Today is Monday, May 11, 2020. Let's go ahead and go over our new words to know. Okay. House. They learn how to build a house for birds. House. Number two, along. He rode carefully along the bike path. Along. Number three, together. The baby can clap her hands together now. Together. Number four, boy. The boy teaches his sister to read. Boy. Number five, father. My father teaches me how to swim. Father. Number six, again. We went out on the ice again to practice. Again. Number seven, nothing. At first, nothing fit, but he finished the puzzle. Number eight, began. She began to take violin lessons. Began. House, along, together, boy, father, again, nothing, and began. All right, our target strategy is cause and effect. We've talked about that. What happens, okay, the effect is what happens and what made it happen. Be cause. It happened because, because, it happened because, okay, I got hurt because I tripped um, over my shoelace, okay. Um, the effect is I got ice cream, the cause, I cleaned my room, okay. Monitor and clarify, remember if something doesn't make sense, go back and reread it, look at the pictures and ask for help. All right, this is all about pets. A pet can be a good friend, a cat can cuddle, a dog can play with a ball. What kind of pets do you know about? Have you ever had a pet? Pets need care. They need to be fed. Some need to be walked. You will read about a boy and his pet dog in the story, Whistle for Willie. Whistle for Willie. Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats. He's the author and the illustrator. He did the whole book all by himself. And this is a very old book. Ezra Jack Keats, meet the author and the illustrator. Ezra Jack Keats wrote and illustrated books for children. When Mr. Keats was a boy, he drew pictures on the kitchen table. His mother was so proud she kept the art rather than wash the table. Ooh, that would not happen in my house. We use paper only. Essential question, can you take good care of a pet? Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around, around and around. That little dash makes us take a break, okay? So he began to turn himself around, around and around. He whirled, pause faster and faster. Pause. When he stopped, everything turned down. Pause. And up. Pause. And up. And down. And around. And around. Sure sounds like he's getting dizzy. Peter saw his dog Willie coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't, so Willie just walked on. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long, long line right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. If you hear hammering in the background, Mr. White is working on a project outside. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still, no whistle. Ooh, that must be frustrating. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, why no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for him, said Peter. He's trying to act like his dad. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was. And who should he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew. Suddenly, out came a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. 
it's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there, and he whistled all the way home. The end. And don't forget to go to Think Central. And on Think Central, look for Lesson 23, Whistle for Willie, and it's on your things to-do list, okay? And you can listen to it many times. Alrighty, bye-bye.